Alright guys, welcome back for some more of my reaction series to Penta Daily's Let's Play of Destiny of the Oracles. Last we saw, she was uh, exploring a bunch of stuff around and accomplished a couple things. But now looking at the title of the video, it looks like she's doing Nehru's Level 8 first, the library. So let us see how she does. And the hat worn for this is Risharam. It's kind of awkward to wear since it always has a tendency to fall off, so... We'll just see how it goes. This is my last Generation 5 hat, so that's it for that. Let's uh, enjoy the video since it's not about the hat. Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of the Oracles. In the last episode, we finally figured out what the hell we had to do. Did, got a little further in the trading quest and made it to Din's level 8. Now we're going to go to be Nehru, finish up the... Or finish up... Move on to the next bit of the trading quest. And then go to Nehru's level 8 and probably start it off today. I don't remember much of the trading sequence. How Nehru and Din are getting the, the trade items between worlds, I don't know. But apparently they are. That's a conspiracy for another day. Smells good. Please, I'll share this strange gem in return. The heart of ice. This cold light is sure to have the heart of someone. Okay, I'm not sure who that goes to. So, uh, we're gonna have to check with the Gorn City. That's that's too far. We're just going. What did she say the answer was? I didn't see okay, what it said. Okay, I'm not sure who that goes to. So, uh, we're gonna have to check with the City. That's that's too far. We're just going to. I don't to don't know it either. Sorry library. about that. I usually don't rewind videos like that, but I was kind of curious. There we are. Not that I won't deal with it eventually, but not right now. So here we are. Level eight, Labyrinth Library. Okay then. We're gonna save. Very nice. All right. So we get to look around. This place is complex. Very. And we get yes. Oh, lovely. Uh, what are Jer these guys? Jerabokos. I don't remember what these guys are called. Jerabokos. Cherubuku's Guild block. The fuck? I've heard Haribokos, Jerabokos. Gimmick! The Libranin Library, you actually are going back and forth through time. Song I don't like know you either. Playing Oracle of Ages. No dungeon was like that. Well no, Mermaid's Cave was. And I suck at these. Clearly. Yep. Not very good at that. Oh well. Never happened. I'm not sure who that is. You know, I mean, it's like a, it's a Stalfos 4 or something. Mmm, you could so. say that. So we've got Gryas of all sorts. Oh, so you say it like that. Right. I was taught gorillas. Mm -hmm. well, first and foremost, I can do this. That kind of has to go there because Let's see. All right. So if I do that, that won't work. Okay. Come from the bottom. Good. I can push that that way. And then that up. You are trapped now. Push that down. And this over. And push this 
this down. And this over. Well, you did it a different way, so. And it goes without saying I like the music in here, too. I don't know what it is. Very interesting spriting on these, by the way. from the Okay. Hmm. Really you calls. Okay, well let's see what I can do here. Well apparently you get it in one blow if you don't uh cut. You got it. Yeah, it's going to be one of those where I have to do that. Okay, yeah. It's going to be one of those where you have to leave. I have to leave and come back because I didn't solve it, quote unquote, right. You cut. But I don't care. Iron Knuckles. Oh, boy. You could fight him like normal. He's not a tough opponent. Cool. Knock back. And we get a key. All right, then. Yep. Or that. <laughs> sure. Either way works. So maybe I went the right way after all. I just wish I knew the song, too. It started to grow on me during the end of the my take at it. Just trying to avoid you guys. Uh. Man, they're fast. Well. Sheesh. Never any good at that. I mean, I self proclaim myself as good at it. Go. Yeah, so I think there's like four different maps for this place, depending on time period. Uh, and I level. think so. Still check out this way, I think. No, you can't. Can't do anything there yet. Through the key door. All right. Actually, I'll leave that alone because I think. Can't do anything on that level, so we come down through here. Right, and we get a key! Pardon me, those dudes are fucking tanky. Right. Got a nice stun in on that dude. Jesus. And, 
Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. To construction clue. Please be sure to connect the switch in this room clue. to the mechanism for the door on the second floor when it is built. Jerobokos. That's what they are. I don't know. Does Delta Rune have an, a have a uh, ga WD Gaster version? Right. You know, I've never actually played Delta Rune, guys. As much as I, as much as I enjoy my time with Undertale, I still have not played Delta Rune. I've seen it. In fact, one of the songs in there is absolutely becoming one of my favorites of all time now. That is the field of hopes and dreams. Oops, I've already screwed that up. All right, well, let's try that again. Yeah. All right. Um. I just had to confirm this. A bit, yeah. That works. Okay. I know I'm not paying attention yet. Yeah, it's another block puzzle. I just wanted yeah, to confirm good. what the names of those enemies are because I was like, what? We're gonna push these up this way. Gillbox. I never heard of yeah. Gillbox. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're not Moas. I see Gillbox and I see Jerobokos. What the hell is their name? Down. I'm gonna push these all the way down and get them out of the way. Apparently they have two different names. Now just do roughly the same thing here. It's interesting. One place calls them Gilbux, the other one calls them Jerobokus. Really? That one sounds much more better. And good. And then up. Yukles did a good job picking the song here. Unfortunately, I didn't know what it was, and if y'all remember my take at it, one certain puzzle in here really made me uh, rage quit. <laughs> and up. I'm pretty sure that'll be mentioned. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll be mentioned. And this is why I hate these puzzles. That's why I hate those puzzles. Yeah, we'll call that a Stalfos 4. We'll call that a Stalfos 4 because its name is... Uh, because it does something different. And there we hit the switch, and don't ever have to do that again. And the door is open! I looked up the names, and one site says Gilbox, the other says Jerobokus. Jerobokus sounds much better. And yeah, we get to now that. And we it's have a key. Uh, there's a do door, right. door, door. I have to say, don't be fooled. Hit that switch. That opens that door. And now we come back this way, but yeah, we're gonna have to go back around. Uh, yeah, that's. All the way around. Uh, around? <laughs> oh god. Talk about going around your ass to get to your elbow. Although it's not quite as bad as it could be. I could swear I only left. Well, maybe he was on the other side. And there's our key. Right. We. Once more around the ass. Don't get the reference. Seriously. 
Something tells me you're using Bombos. If you're irritated by a little beam, you can look away from that. Pupils, um, the flashing lights, they're giving me a headache, and I don't have migraine issues. Maybe single color beams? No. I probably should be trying to use Day's Light. No. That's only personal problems to those who suffer it. What the fuck? Did touching you do that? with our words. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. We're only 15 minutes. So you can light, um, empty torches. Or you can change them. Put out. Or change them. Ones that are going. There's that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you open that door. Right. Okay. Can't do anything about that yet. Oh, you need to go to the beginning. Where were you hiding? Stand the correct distance away. I don't. I have no idea what that is. There we go. I don't think you pick it up. I'm not sure it is anything. It sh might just be decorating. Or you may have one of your buttons where you talk to somebody. That's your uh, you problem. Thank you. Now we can go through this door. Kill that guy. Ignore that guy. Big stealth. Big stealthos. Screw him. Ugh. <laughs> It. Wonder saw that. Good. Ah, crap. All right, I screwed that up. First, womp womp. this needs to go this way, so that I can push that up there. Now I can do that and push this over. That allows that to go down. That to go up. Push that that way, that goes up, and then this goes over. Okay. So that's that set done. So that's gonna have to come down. And that's probably the first. But I could also push that up. And I think that's a good idea. Alright. 
things. I see the solution already. Push it once. This can go down. Yes. Good. And then this can go all the way over. Uh, yeah. Why not? Push the multi block all and the way this is gonna go up. up. This goes over. This goes up. And this goes. There you go. Moving right along. How much more is left? Okay, oh, seven minutes. Okay, so we can go this up, or we can go. Let's see. I'm about to say there's only one. Might as well just go up this way, and then down. Um, no, let's go that way then. Since it ends, to get a key. Always do. Now we go this way. All right. All you're doing is getting keys. And get that key one. get. Good. Knuckles. God bless knockback. Keep those guys out of range. Oh boy, alright. Well. Just gotta be careful. Not to accidentally step on a star tile. There we go. And our last key. Not really sure how that worked, but hey. <laughs> Alright, now that we've done all of that, we can go um, back through here. That's a nasty respawn. There's a door over there. All this for a key, which you probably do need. And there we go. Sigh. Hey, duck. Uh, okay, uh, Lucy Loud. Yeah, I've seen Loud House, and that's some, the only thing I thought of when I first heard somebody saying sigh. <laughs> Up. Yes. Yep. Up. There you go. You should have a clear way now. Well, obviously. That's something. You need to end it. Yep. Okay. There we go. I suspect I'm gonna have to cut a significant amount of that out, but I got it. I didn't cut it. I did it. All that for a key. I didn't cut it. I showed it. All right, we're gonna go a little farther because yeah, that was annoying. There we go. Ignoring you. Kill you. 
She's gonna come across something where she needed that thing. Hey, your favorite. Your favorite because you're weird. For liking this. Who are you, melee? Let's just, uh... That scream sounded just like melee. Screw you. Huh. Dude has priority. Alright. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, if you can get him... On a good thing, you and there's your key. Taking too much damage. All right, so we got the big key. So now we just have to figure out where the hell. Now you just need the right button input to get that thing. I'm saying at the beginning of the what dungeon. Ignoring you. Uh, we're almost done. Although we may do that some other. We are getting close to what we call it. Okay, yeah. So You're done with this side of the dungeon. Couldn't get there. Or wait, no, that's I think is this As much as I love the hat, it's just really awkward to wear since it always wants to fall off. There's just not enough headroom for me to put it in. Here we are back at the beginning. So yeah, I'm gonna go just save, and next time we will continue on uh, as Nehru with the Librenin Library. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Destiny of the Oracles. I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. Not a bad run through the library, but... Definitely need the right button inputs to pick up that thing. Join us next time, guys, when we see how she does for the rest of the library. Reaction to Penadaily's Let's Play of Destiny of the Oracles. Tippy continued.